First it was Quokkas, then Quarantine Island. Now Rodness will become a world-class surfing destination. Combined with the annual Margaret River Pro, the competitions will see surfing elite touring WA's coast for nearly a month. 13 million viewers with all eyes on Rodnest as the world's best surfers showcase all that our famous coastline has to offer. I've actually been there, surfed there, surfed the waves and I think it's going to be a great competition. Um, a lot of people haven't seen it and I think they're going to be really surprised. WA is set to host two events in the World Surf League competition this year, with surfers spending nearly a month touring WA shores. First, the Margaret River Pro, then a one-off special event, the Rip Curl Rotnest Search. Our shores chosen after Queensland and Victoria were dumped over failure to reach a quarantine agreement. So in the event that the borders shut at the time we cross into Western Australia, we're able to move into that state um, under a, a bubble scenario and continue on with our sport. The event will be held at Rottnest Island's Strickland Bay, which is considered as having some of the best waves in the state. While organisers say there will be no spectators allowed at the Rottnest event, ferries to and from the island will still continue to run, but there will be restricted access to parts of the island over the 10-day event. The event will see Rotness take centre stage again after it was broadcast to the world when some of Hollywood's biggest superstars shared their photos. But from wineries to quokkas, it's said to be a multi-million dollar tourism windfall that couldn't come soon enough for the struggling industry. 11-time world champion Kelly Slater telling his millions of followers he can't wait to get back to WA. Kelly Haywood, Nine News.